The Hive Cluster is under attack. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, it's going to be a ZVT Hero and Optimizer featuring Art User and Ample. Bottom left, it is Ample. He is our Teal Terran player. And in the top right, Arc User. He's our Zerg. He is Red. He's an excellent Terran player. Cast a few games with him already. It is Optimizer. A very, very weird map, right? So, this is your main base. It is very, very large. We've got a stranded Ursodon up here with no friends and no food. Ah, You're going to die lonely and hungry, man. And this is your natural base. It is kind of weird, right? Right. So you need to wall off here. And maybe you can get some extra minerals here. But if you mine through them, there's another attack path into your natural. Woof. Okay. And then this is an expansion. But this is a fairly wide ramp for an expansion of this type. But hey, it's a snow map. Or half of a snow map, anyway. There are little patches of snow here, but yeah. So it's a giant four-player map here. This expansion and this expansion are right next door to each other. It's always fun when players take uh, uh, take the opposite side, right? Because this turns into a battleground, turns into a Gettysburg field. Woof. Woof indeed. Uh, so, Terror the Overlord, scouting out. Yep, I know you like snow. Reminds you of Christmas, your favorite holiday. Getting a little bit of uh, Vespine gas. Just, you know, huffing it as always. And hatch first. Hatch first. Hatch first here at 12 supply. Got this replay from RJB. Of RJB TV fame. You should check him out if you haven't already. If you haven't already, lads. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Oh, did you just... Dude, Ample! He just command center first dust right in the face. So now the drone's like, hold on a second. Is that a command center first? Go mess with the SCV. What are you doing? Go mess with the SCV. He's building a command center. He can't defend himself right now. But now another SCV is already def helping. Okay, well... There was a minute there you could have messed with this guy and maybe had him stop building for a second, but now his friend is here. That's not happening. Look, he's even repairing his buddy like a good friend would do. Ugh, such good friendships in StarCraft sometimes. Anyway, this is nuts. I kind of like it. If you go command center first against a Zerg player, I feel like you have a massive advantage. Because now the Zerg's like, uh, okay, so what do I do here? I guess I went pool. <laughs> guess you went for a pool there. Uh, do you go for a quick third yourself? Or do you, or you feel pressure to keep up with the Terran player economically? Because I would feel pressure to keep up with the Terran player economically. That's what I would be doing right now. But, um, hmm. Bunker up, just in case it is, you know, some ling flooding stuff coming in here, because bunker first does slow down your production a little bit. Like, right now, there's only one marine out, which is why the bunker needs some help. So, well, why the bunker's coming up, for help purposes. Dude, our user's playing this straight, man. He's going for a lair. Okay, I guess. I mean... Somewhat of an interesting life choice here... Metabolic boost on the way, as is tradition here, too. This is a lurker rush. We've seen that sometimes from Zerg players in this situation. We've seen them go for the Spire as well. There's your third, but it's not particularly fast at all, right? This third base is pretty normal timing for a hatch first play against someone who went for a Rax Expand on the other side anyway. I mean, in reaction to that for sure. So we'll see if we get a Spire up. Potentially could be a 9 mutilisk opening, too, because the third base does act as a macro hatch in situations like that. So we'll keep an eye on it. Lair is done. And how much money do we have for anything? Well, there's a Spire on the way. So neat. Kind of hiding it over here in the corner. Not a place the SEV can see it really easily. Let's see if we can get Ample's vision here for a minute. Wait, whose vision do we still have? Somebody left. Ugh. Ugh. Why is this not working? 
Try to get rid of some vision options here. And it's like, no, you can see everyone all the time. So art user's vision goes away. But Eros can still see. And motive. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're out. So now we get Apple's vision. And his SCV died. Did he get over here, though? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if he saw it. I don't know if he did. But, I mean, at this point, you just prepare for mutalisks anyway. Engineering bay's on the way as per usual. Link's trying to get in here for some scouting. Not going to happen, friendos. And look, he is mining from this other mineral side. That's nice. And same thing here, too, with our user. It's like extra bonus minerals. These ones are actually farther away than these ones are somewhat, too. So it's just a weird map, man. Optimizer is not normal stuff. I like it. Stim's on the way from Ample. Hit that like button if you're excited about this game already. And we are going into... Uh, it's either 8 racks stuff here. And somebody correct me the other day and be like, look, it's not always 8 racks, okay? Marine heavy comps with, like, tank support and stuff. It was the SK Terran strategy. I think that's what he called it. I don't... I'm not good at remembering stuff. I'm doing my best here. But, yeah. So we'll keep an eye on it. And it is five mutas. It's not, you know, a million. He can't make nine right now is what I'm trying to say. But that third gas is coming in. Loving that. Zerg player getting a fast third gas is always fantastic, but... This is a two-basing ample. Pretty scary stuff. Now comes the micro. Now comes the lings that do not want to deal with that Goss rifle that those Marines are holding. But they're trying to keep an eye on these dudes. How many Marines are there, right? Are they moving across the map? Are they going to try to kill me soon? Or are they just kind of posturing and threatening and you really is waiting for an upgrade or something? These are things you need to figure out, man. Queen's Nest coming in, third base. Like we said, running. This is going to be a pretty solid three base play. A lot of art user. He's got six Mutalisks. He's making three more of them. So he's going to try and just make sure that Ample feels not comfortable stringing his units out across the map like this. Like this. Without the guys on the outskirts getting picked off. He's got the range upgrade now. So now he feels comfortable moving. That one just finished. Factory on the way. Whether that is going to be for some maybe some vultures or tanks. Maybe a uh, mech transition. Possible. Don't know that we've seen one of those in quite some time. It is a pretty vulnerable thing to do, though. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for that stuff. Yeah, the mutas alone aren't really gonna wipe this out. They're just trying to make sure, hey, chase me. Don't, like, A move into the main base, because we don't have any lurkers to defend against you at all. We've got some sunkens up, which is nice. This third base is really vulnerable, though. I mean, if you just, where is the ramp here? Is it over here? Do you have to mine through to get through? No. That's low ground. Mm, I forget. I forget how you access this through the ground. Oh, that's it. This ramp right here. No, but then you have to... Uh... Do you have to, like, drone trick your way into this third base fast? I really don't see another way to get in there. I, I've cast a couple games on this map before. I'm actually a little confused as to how you do that. This SCV got over, but again, this has all been mined out, so it's totally available now, obviously. Ten mutos flying around to Filer Mound all the way from our user back home. And yeah, I mean, it's really at this point going to be Muta Control versus Marine Control. Oh, interesting. Really, really fast Greater Spire here from Art User. Interesting. Is this a good map for Guardians, potentially? Let's take a look. Once these Mutas are done doing their shenanigans, which will be never because they're going deep into Terran territory here. Yeah, not going for any easy pickings there at all. Can you just set up guardians here and it's really annoying to deal with? And maybe here is a good place to park them too. Just kind of raining fire on this general area here. This is interesting. This is really interesting stuff. Yeah, Overlord checking to make sure this base isn't happening. I swear I've cast games where units just easily... Is this a ramp? No. 
just like players have just casually taken this third without, you know, early, without mining through, which is exactly what our user did here. I don't Did he have to glitch through? Because this is a more traditional third base. You don't have to glitch to get to at all. But, dude, look at Ample's macro. He's at 120 supply. Look at how much stuff he has. He's just got a lot. It's a lot of Marines right now. They've got the range. They've got the stim. They've got the plus one attack. They are out for blood. They're going to try to get here. That's a lot of sunkens, though. Get here. Oh, man. There's Dark Swarm, too. But it doesn't protect your sunkens. Your sunkens take the full damage. There's a stim. It's another stim. That means we're going in. You do not stim like this for no reason. Okay, here we go. Six sunkens on the battlefield right now. And then on the backside, Dark Swarm comes up. Ugh. This is so bad. It's a marine sandwich. Is it enough to get through, though? And the answer is, well, all the sunkens are dying pretty quickly, man. Stim plus one attack. No joke. Sunken's down. Wow. But there's some Guardians up. Oh, my gosh. Guardians being used as base defense against Marines, and it kind of worked out. That's the thing. These timing attacks from Terran, if you don't have Lurkers, if you don't have Ultras, you're just going to have a really hard time dealing with it. And Guardians, I guess, are the tech of choice here. Oh, it's amazing. These guys try to harass the third base, but nah, the links say absolutely not. Adrenal is almost done for them, not quite finished yet. So Ample says, huh, I did not expect Guardians on defense there, and it worked. It totally worked. Look, they're coming down now. Guardians. What? How many games have I cast where Guardians have been used and the Zerg player has won? I feel like it's not, it's not many. Hmm. Anyway, top left base here from Art User coming up for a fourth. Kind of a ninja. A bit of a sneaky position there for sure. Do you have a radiate yet? No. No irradiate? So this is weird stuff, man. Scourge trying to get those science vessels. They're just giving a free path. Two of them go down. Defensive Matrix is up. That Ultralisk is fighting. The Guardians are trying to kite as best as you can when you have slow top speed and a slow acceleration. It's not great. If you're a guardian, and look, none of these guys are using irradiates. Okay, they maybe don't have a ton of energy for irradiates. Maybe that's the reason, too. Yeah, the guardians are, um... Okay, they get up to a decent high ground position where they can pick off some of these dudes. These guys are not high ground position at all. This is hilarious. <laughs> is it kind of working still? ha. <laughs> Four kills, seven kills on that Guardian. This is some of the more effective Guardian play I've ever seen. But you know what counters Guardians? Everything. Everything that can hit Guardians counters them. Wraith's good answer there. Well done. Still on the third base from Ample, which I'm concerned about as a Terran fan here. Fourth base is up from Art User, but... But, 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 but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven racks. No tanks. No tanks in production here. That factory is floating, as a matter of fact. But five Ultras on the way. Wouldn't you just rather have, like, six more Ultralisks rather than, like, six Guardians? I just... I feel like you would. Traditionally, anyway. Maybe third base down here, but this Overlord is scouting that action out, yo. Wraiths find the fourth base in the top left here for our user. He's like, where is that fourth? There's gotta be one. And then get killed by Scourge. Run! Run, Wraith Pilot! Get out of there! Little radiate action. Science Vessel down! Ugh, Scourge hits, man. The bane of every Terran player's existence. Oh, you let it. You almost lost that Wraith. Because the Wraith Pilot stopped flying, the doofus. Dude, but seriously. Uh, a third base, though, from Ample would be the best thing in the world. I don't know, he's up 126 to 93 supply. That Ultra got irradiated and shot a bunch and then died from irradiation. Is that a good way to go? I think being irradiated hurts. Do you think Zerg units feel pain? I bet they don't. Maybe they do. I just, what is, like, what purpose does pain serve the swarm, I guess? Would be the question. Are you boxer maneuvering these guys? Yeah, definitely. So get the guys on the gas. Maybe. I don't know. No guarantees on that one. Okay, one died. That one has to flee, which basically counts. 
Dark Swarm covering a full assault into the top left here, if at all possible. Yeah, this this guy is hunting. Hunting Overlords has six kills and it also extremely dead. Like the deadest. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But Dark Swarm wears off eventually. Ample comes up to the top left. Ultra Dark Swarm is there to meet you. However, though. Holy smoking Zola. All right. So did get the Ultras out of the Dark Swarm, but they're very mean. And they've got five armor. Six armor is on the way. But a Radiated Ultra getting just smashed by Marines with the plus two attack and stim. And some medic support here. These medics somehow ended up in the top left and got killed. So that's a thing. A spore's up to make sure the science vessels can't just hang out on top of this fourth base anymore. We've got ultras heading down. Oh, it's a third base. Look. Ample got one. It's on fire, which means I missed an attack down here earlier. This is some chaos for sure. Yeah, that ultra is all alone. That's not going to work out for you, buddy. Not at all. Ultras and your third base. Get them. Do you want to irradiate them? Because then they'll kill your SCVs more quickly. Uh, I don't know. That's a weird choice here. But kill the Nidus. Kill the Nidus. And Nidus down. All right. So Dark Swarm is up. Defending this base temporarily. Not forever, mind you. Yeah, drones going down here too. 40 to 40 total workers. This is a scrap fest. That Ultra finally gets picked off. Third base is peaceful again from Ample. The fourth base from Art User wishes it could say that. Another knight is trying to come up. Creep Colony hatch down. Fourth base. Art User down to three bases. Not good at all. Surround the Ultralisk with medics. Yes. Surround it with medics so that... Oh, boy. There's more Ultras coming in, though. They do focus the Nidus down. Uh, I don't think there's enough Marines to actually do this, though... Yeah, no. Definitely not. All right. So these medics are in a lot of trouble, too. They're just going to run for it and pray. That's pretty much all they can do right now is just uh, get out of there. Bum There's a lot of Ultra Lisks. Ugh, the Marines are trying to hold. They got plus three attack. Not looking good, but the Ultras are taking so much damage. Plus the Irradiate, plus they're hurting each other with the Irradiate, but reinforcing Marines coming in. The splash damage of the Irradiate for the Ultras. Getting inside this mineral line is so bad. Oh, but they both died before they got too much damage done. Oh, that's several SCVs killed. Marines execute that guy, put him out of his misery. But it's 106 to 69 supply. Ample is way ahead. Art user hasn't been able to retake his fourth base. He's kind of trying to take one here. Yeah. Which just got scanned by Ample. He saw it. He saw it. He's looking for it, man. And yeah, this is eight racks. Three, four, three, four, eight racks. Two star ports. That's what we're looking at here. No tank support. No vulture support. You know, you can add in some vulture support later, but not if you're floating your factory. Not really something you can do. Dude, this scouting factory and this scouting science facility has been really good. Like, really excellent so far today. Plague! Huge plague! But not enough Zerg to really capitalize on that. Oh, but a Dark Swarm Ultra can definitely capitalize on it. If you stick around long enough, Ample's done an excellent job just bailing from Dark Swarm positions here. Where's the one Mutalisk in production from Art User? To every science vessel, all six of them have been plagued. They're very vulnerable. Uh, this Zergling's getting some kills too, because for some reason, you aren't attack moving, you're just move commanding. Okay. Wow, that Ling did way more damage than it should have. Meanwhile, Boxer maneuvering down here at the third base, kind of like three drones might have died there for sure. But the fourth base of Art User, the new fourth base is going to die. Oh, the fourth base is coming back top left, too. I don't know. This is the imposter fourth base, but it's dead now. So we're not going to talk about it anymore. Fourth base coming back up from Art User in the top left. Third base, happy from Ample. He's got a bunker here. He's got some Marines defending it, too. So you can't just wander in here and start killing SCVs willy-nilly. It's only 32 to 37 workers. Like, this is scrappy. Nobody has more than 40 workers right now, which is just not something you see a lot in 20-minute ZVTs with professional players like these guys who are like ASL qualifiers, you know? Don't cha no. 
Oh, this group though. This group's sneaking. Sneaking up. But there's a Nidus. Defending this is possible. I mean, yeah. Your Sunken loses a lot of its viability once 3 3 comes in on these Marines. Just saying. God, Langs and Ultras are pouring out a plague. It's down to Dark Swarm. Really helping in this situation as well. And he might be able to hold it. No problem. Couple Ultras roll it into this third base. No! You must pay the toll, says Ample. And they both die very quickly. This group, uh, bah, this group that went for the fourth, completely wiped out, though. It is 117 to 74 supply, though. Ample's up. He's got himself a fifth, nope, a fourth base coming up on this left side, nine o'clock position. He's just been pumping Marines and Firebats and Medics like crazy. Only 119 supply, though, which you wouldn't be happy about, except that your opponent's only at 78 total supply. It is 43 to 37 workers. He's trying to drone this base up, trying to defend it. And Ample just says, my win condition is this fourth base. If I can kill this fourth base, that is it. That is all that she wrote. And by that, I mean we're just going to boxer maneuver it first. Yo, all those drones that were produced, though. Okay, all right. Uh, Scourge. To, oh, nope, Scourge connecting. Okay, Science Vessel down. That's what you get for your evil ways of boxer maneuvering these drones. In fact, you're both going to die. And then Apple says, I've got more where those came from gonna march up here real fast you know take down a scourge irradiate the ultras immediately I love the fire bats going up against irradiated ultras another sick plague from art user though how many times is he gonna be able to save this base oh that did not go up for those ultras at all irradiated and getting smashed by stimmed Marines Nidus can now still bring in reinforcements and drones dying though 41 workers to 44 SCVs Ultra, one at a time. It's not the best experience for these Marines, but it's pretty good. And that's a GG, Art User! Taps out at Ample. Is your winner here in 21 minutes and 54 seconds. Yo. What an absolutely... Man. Absolutely incredible. Incredible game there. Between Art User and Ample, Art User gets that win. He, I mean, it was blood, sweat, and tears, though. He lost so many Marines and Medics. He got plagued so many times. He was dealing with Dark Swarm Ultralisks for the last 10 minutes of the game, it feels like. Yo, incredible stuff there. Eight racks. Eight racks, man. With two science vessels, even in the hands of somebody not as good as Flash, it can totally, totally work. I don't know when the next time we're going to see a Terran player go mech is. I feel like it's going to be a while, Terran fans, but you know? You can get wins with this. It's entirely possible. For sure. Yeah, I like the little bit of harassment over here. I mean, killing this fourth base was huge. Killing this base was huge. And then back to the fourth base again. Just the outer lying newer sources of income of the enemy are going to be the best ones to attack if that's what you want to do. And that was the play. No real damage done to the main base. No drops uh, on Apple's base at all. His third base got harassed a whole bunch. His fourth base uh, is known... <laughs> By the Zerg because there are two Scourge here. But, man, what an absolute mess here. Just too much. Too many Marines. Too many Medics. Too much macro, baby. Good win. Good win, Ample. Aight. What do we got? 146,000 points there from Ample. 132 for Art User. Did outproduce the Zerg. 388 to 374. That's not... That is hard to do. Not that Art User was going super heavy on the Lings, but he did have a bunch of them. Once again, it's another game where Guardians get used and the Zerg player does not win. <laughs> Resources spent here. Our user did outspend the Terran, 42000 to 36000 because, you know, Guardians and Ultras and Defilers and things are not cheap. But, yeah, end of the day, if you get if you outspend your Terran opponent in 21 minutes by only, I don't know, about 6000 resources, and the Guardians don't really pay for themselves, you're going to have a bad time. So, well done there by Ample. Just, you can't, you can't like Ample any more than you already do, can you? He's an amazing Terran player. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. This is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.